Hello, my name is Fadwa. I'm going to demonstrate here my final project solution on Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana forming an ELK stack. My goal is to use ELK stack for analyzing network operations, where ELK captures, parses, and makes searchable syslogs for administrators to manage complex networks and do passive monitoring. In this presentation, I will describe briefly the process of getting an up and running ELK stack, and then I want to present a concern and use Elasticsearch Python API to solve it. I'm going to use Logstash to process raw syslogs files as my data set and put it into Elasticsearch after filtering and parsing the logs into structured data. Elasticsearch's job is to index and store the structured data for instantaneous search capability. And then comes Kibana, where we can generate search analysis and visualization through searching the data stored in Elasticsearch via web interface. In my project, the ELK stack will be installed on Amazon EC2 Fedora instance. So my dataset is the server syslogs with many details about the event, such as IP address, timestamp, and the actual log message. Logstash takes care of parsing and filtering of data to make it readable in a JSON format, which is specified in the Logstash configuration file. Input, filter, and output are defined as shown here. Logstash configuration file is in JSON format and of three sections, inputs, filters, and outputs. This is where I configured Logstash to filter events, process logs, and syslogs messages, and use conditions to control what events are processed. For the input side, I have Logstash to watch and read the input from the log path on the log local host. For the filter, the filter looks for logs that are labeled as syslog type and by grok plugin, it parses incoming syslogs to make it structured and queryable. For the output, I'm basically asking Blockstash to store the logs in Elasticsearch using Ruby awesome print library format. In no time, syslogs can get to tens of thousands of files and with data processing, these logs can become overwhelming as one of the biggest challenges with syslog is the volume of data. In this project, I used a single host installation where the, the Logstash serves as the syslog server, and so syslogs are collected directly with Logstash. However, native syslog logs take up less storage than logs processed with Logstash and Elasticsearch. And because we can be limited by the amount of storage available, I came up with a solution is to archive the processed syslogs into Amazon S3 bucket and, and delete them from the Logstash syslog server after a specific period of time of being indexed and searchable by ELK. Maybe by creating a cron job. In the event that there was an audit or a security incident and we need to get a hold of the old data, we can ingest syslog files using Python API from Amazon S3 into Elasticsearch. Here's my code. First thing is to connect to my Elasticsearch cluster using the Elasticsearch Python library. After that, I will need to identify how many files are in my S3 bucket, so I will connect to S3 using Boto. Then after I find the number of files within the designated bucket, I can iterate over the archived logs in S3 and index them with the index that gets automatically created for them as specified in the code. Make sure you give a uh, read permissions to the bucket and log files inside. From here we can then use Kibana to connect to the created index in Elasticsearch. I go to Kibana and then create an index pattern called S3 which matches the one that we created in the code. I then open the dashboard and this is my real-time visualized data. This is a snapshot of my first dashboard that I created in Kibana with the different types of visualizations. Live instance, and here as you can see it's the IP address of my server and the port of Kibana. And this is the home page where I see all the syslog uh, uh, messages processed in, in Elasticsearch and it's seen here with a table or JSON format. 
if I want to create a new index pattern, I go here, and as you can see, I already have an already um, created one, an index pattern for log stash. Another one which I created is S3 using the Python API, and um, those are all the uh, fields that's been fetched from the uh, Loxis files. And if I want to visualize those, I can go to my dashboard and uh, create a new one or upload an already existing one. I'd like to upload my already saved dashboard, which is dashboard one. And here are my visualizations that I created already. Um, and all represent the count of times that the server has been accessed or an activity has been um, done, uh, represented by count, along with the x-axis, which represents the timestamp. And here is the um, histogram um, representation, and this shows me the ones, uh, the, lo the Loxus files that's been added from S3 bucket. And if we go back to discover, I can filter out the ones from S3 bucket using my index pattern that I created earlier, and here are my messages that were um, loaded from the S3 bucket. It's good to know, or good to add, is that I can uh, narrow my filter here using this, uh, these options for quick filter or add different dates uh, for begin and end. And I'm having um, my instance getting refreshed every five seconds. Thank you for watching.